Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and I'm back with some funky bright colours. Look what I have today. I have a chrome yellow, a chrome orange, uh, a turquoise blue and this one from Nicotex Basics, a uh, light green permanent. I've also got a couple of metallic colours left over from a previous project. These are um, the Liquitex Basics again, I think in bronze and copper. And I'm going to use some white. And what I want to do today is use these. Oh, these are my little mini flip cups. I found these in a store um, here in Cayman and I just fell in love. Look how cute they are. How gorgeous are these little cups. So I'm going to do a multi-cup flip with these tiny, tiny little cups today and that's going to make me happy. If you do like these little cups, I have some for sale in my Etsy store, so look under the video for a link where you can find these little cups. Um, so I think first thing I'm going to do is something a little bit different today because normally when I do a multi-cup flip, I put the cups and then I put white around. Today I'm going to do it slightly different, I'm going to coat my canvas with white first and then try to flip the cups on top. So we will see how that goes. So I'll get started um, just covering the canvas with a little bit of white to start with. As you can see, I made a mistake. I didn't even think about it. I used my white from the squeezy bottle, which has the silicone oil in it, and just the very, um, the effect from squeezing it out of the bottle and then spreading it around creates like little um, a dimpled effect or a white. But I think it'll be fine. Um, I will babysit it afterwards and just kind of smooth it out. And generally it always dries just fine and smooth. So I'm not that worried. So I've just um, pretty much roughly covered out into the corners because I think when I tip the white will spread out. And even if it doesn't, I can fill those in. So if I move the canvas out the way, I'm gonna get four of these little mini flip cups. Oh, they're so happy. Look at them, they just make me happy. Okay, so I've got four of my little cups and I'm just gonna layer all of these colors in. I think I'm gonna start with this coppery color because it's so unlike these others. And I always like a little metallic, so I'm gonna put that in the base of all of my cups. And then maybe that one will be the star of the show and will sit on the top when I turn it up later, but we will see. A little bit of the chrome yellow. Okay, so if I bring the canvas back in. So I've got a playing card. I've never done this before, so this will be the first time and we will see how we get on. I've seen other people do it, so it can't be that difficult, right? So I'm going to put the playing card on here, tip the cup, and then try whoop, and take it off onto the canvas. Well, that made a bit of a mess. Okay, let's go again. Two. Uh, Three. Oh, splattered that one big time. I may need something a bit firmer. When I um, move the cup, I can feel the card flex and a load of paint comes out, whether I want it to or not. Okay, so are you ready? Let's lift up our little cups here and see what weird color combination I've managed to come up with today, shall we? Oh my goodness, these are so pretty. Look how cute they are, look at the colors. Oh, I feel it's gonna be a good day. Oh yes, oh those are glorious. Okay, so that doesn't look so bad. I've got a lot of yellow in this one, a lot of blue in these, and this one is more muted. The, um, the coppery color is kind of out on the outside right now, so I don't know whether we'll lose a lot of that in the tip, but let's, Go for it. I'm just going to go nice and slow, fill out my corners, and then we'll see what we get. I do like using this um, little multi kind of flip because it gives me lots of white in the painting. And uh, with a tendency with all the bright colours and the metallics I use sometimes, it can be a bit overwhelming. So by having more white in there, 
I think it helps. Ah, oh, this does look nice. That's good. Last side. Okay. So I am just going to go and uh, wash my hands, get the worst of the paint off, and then we'll come back and take a look. So I think that I like it, but I think what I would like to do is try and spread it out just a little bit more. I've got a little bit on the corners here that need to be covered. And so I think I'm actually going to try and stretch these cells a little bit more because sometimes it's interesting just to see, you know, how much um, paint you have left and just how much you can stretch this out. So I'm going to carry on right off the corner here. And the more you stretch, of course, the more you get a, a very different effect. See here where I have cells, they're kind of rounded, you know, and shaped. And then here where I stretch, it becomes far more soft and flowing. Um, and I really like that from time to time. I like to have a different look in my paintings. So I'm really going to stretch these out today. And see in here, it kind of bunches up a little bit. This bit spreads out, becomes more flowing looking. But I really like the bright colours in this area, so I think I'm going to now stretch that back this way. Stretch out these brighter ones and take off this lighter area over here. And they're still stretching, still moving out, getting larger. So when you, um, I get a lot of questions say, how do you get large cells? And basically you get large cells by starting with small cells and then stretching them out. And you saw when I had the, the painting originally, when I went off to wash my hands, um, you know, this area of white was more or less in the center here. But now as we, keep, as we keep moving the paint, we have so much more that we can do with it. It can really stretch it out an awful lot more than you might think. So it's still moving. I still like this brighter area here, so I'm moving this paler area off towards the corner. Still moving. And I can still see it. So here it's kind of bunching off and then at one point it will get to the corner and it will start to tip over. So here now, um, because I've moved it so many times in so many directions, the cells aren't looking as round as they were. Now I'm getting a little bit more of a zigzag effect and the, the paint is kind of stretching out a lot more so you get more of a flowing feel to it. So, there we are. I like that a lot. So it's nothing like I started, it's nothing like I first envisioned, but I liked this area of colour so much and this was only one of the four cups, remember? So um, basically this was one cup, another here, another here, uh, one which is run off entirely and so by creating four different cups I gave myself some flexibility that if one cup turned out nicer than the others I could actually stretch the paint out to have that patch of paint dominate. So here you can see that um, although we started off with cells it's now more subtle, more soft, more flowing and a different effect to what I get on a lot of some of my paintings. So let's bring you down and look at some of the details. So there we go, I really like it. I think the composition is nice the colours are nice and bright. It's got some nice, soft, interesting, flowing shapes in it. This bit here, although I don't, I'm not a, a huge fan of green, I think it looks really good. So I'm happy. Yeah, I'm very happy. Not how I expected today to turn out. Not how I expected this painting to turn out. But that uh, colour in that one cup and this bold streak coming through here was too, uh, too nice to not make... Um, a real feature of it in the painting. So I'll dry it off and show you what it looks like when it's finished. So it is finished. It's uh, glossed, ready to go into my Etsy store and eventually off to a new home. And I have to say, I really love the colours. Um, I've decided to call this one Amazonia. There's something about it that just feels that way to me. Um, I love this orange and the, the gold in here. The whole painting has got so many little beautiful gold metallic highlights all the way through that uh, it looks really, really nice. Absolutely lovely. The colours are not maybe something I'd have picked um, originally, but now I think they're all together. They look really good like this. So I'm very, very happy with them. I hope you've enjoyed watching along with the video and I look forward to seeing you at acrylicpouring.com very soon.